Hello everybody, my name is Beck. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Before I start this video, I'd like to say that don't rip out your acrylics like a maniac because um, you will regret it. I can't get rid of these two, but that's why my nails are the way it is. They're not broken. I just have fake nails on and I try to get rid of them, but I will be visiting a salon. I will not be trying this again today i'll be talking about all the books that i would like to read in the month of february there are a couple of contenders and a couple of repeats because i don't think i'm going to be able to finish everything by the end of january i am filming this on the 28th because it is the weekend and it is closer to the end of the month and let's be real i'm probably not going to be able to finish it like i said this is the only available time slot and my neighbors are outside so they can hear exactly what i have to say and i'm embarrassed as per usual the timing is always right for me to film these things so without further ado let's begin my february hopeful tbr hopefuls i'm currently using vaseline as lip balm and i must say the taste is horrible and it makes my lips look better on camera but um sacrifices has been made and i won't be doing it again the books that i really want to finish this month is the knock em out series i don't even know if it's called last this is the second book of the series this is the third the first book is things we hide from the light and things we left behind by lucy school the amount of times i've attempted to read these in the past week has been astonishing and I would like to finish it. Instead of reading things, I've actually been reading quite a bit of Mafia romance. I don't know what's happening to me. I have finally cancelled my Kindle Unlimited subscription and I have a Prime reading subscription. And there's a lot of Mafia romance going on so I get distracted but nevertheless I'd like to finish this. More Tower Romance, this is Opposite Attract I think. And this is enemies to lovers so potentials i've been saying it for the past couple of months i'm kind of embarrassed by myself but um i will try to read this sometime tonight but um one can hope and dream that's what i keep saying the next bundle of my physical tbr that i like to get through in the month of february is this one i don't know what this series is called i'll put it up here when i'm editing this video but the first book in the series is Mile High, and then the next one's The Right Move, and the last one, the most recent release, is Caught Up by Liz Tom Ford. So I hope to read this eventually. I know I have access to the first two audiobooks from my local library, so the chances of me reading this is very high. I did not realize they're pretty chunky books and I heard really good things about the first one, especially about the male protagonist of the story. I don't know what the tropes are, but I think this one is between a flight attendant and a sports star. I don't remember what sports, I think it is hockey. Yes, it is hockey. I don't know if it's from the same team or if it's different tropes. I don't know what's going on here, but I heard amazing things about it. I do have the physical copies. If you're a returning subscriber of mine, you've probably seen some new books at the back. Please ignore it. Um, I'll get to it eventually. I do have a book haul coming and I'm trying my best to film the rest of my weekly reading vlog. I need to edit that because it's a lot of little tiny clips and I don't know what I'm doing with my life and it's hard to figure it out. Fun fact about me, I do run two channels and they get on my nerves sometimes because I feel bad if I upload on this channel or not the other one, but the other one's about gaming if you guys are interested in it. Link will be down below. I can't believe I'm plugging it here, but let's move on with this video. Next series, which is also hockey related, is I once again don't know what the series is called, but I think it is the Jacksonville Rays. I'm just going by the icon here. I just realized the first book is thicker. Like, it's chunky, chunky. Why am I choosing all the big books? But anyway, first book of this series is Pucking Around. Second book of this series is Pucking Wild. I think I have the prologue book as well somewhere on my Kindle. So maybe that too. But this is kind of wishful thinking because I've a tempted to read this during my break but i never got a chance to finish it so i know for a fact this is a why choose hockey romance but this one not too sure i'm thinking it's the same team but like different couples obviously and there might be some different tropes but there were some controversies surrounding this book on tiktok i don't really know the origins of the drama too well but there were some murmurings of that that but why did i choose these they are really thick hockey romance is currently really popular 
I'm kind of in the mood to read some sports romance because I need a little break from the mafia romance. I'll talk about it in another video, like a little bit of a wrap up, even though I ramble so much. Why cheese hockey romance? Anyway, contenders. I'm going to be real here. The chances of me finishing this series in the month of February, slim. I'll put it in here because I might actually end up reading it. And if I'm not focusing on the camera right now because I am kind of blind, I wear glasses, but it reflects on the ring light and that irritates me when I'm editing so I'm trying my best to look at the camera but I'm not. I think I'm just like insane because every single pile like choices I've made so far for the month of February is all series, chunky chunky books but I'm just in the mood to like finish some of the series that I have on hand so I can just you know find an excuse to buy more which is bad. I should just start going to the library more this year so I can have some space so I don't waste so much money but it just brings me so much serotonin when I go to the bookstore and I grab a book. Final two books I would like to read in the month of February is part of the Define Rivals series. I don't, once again, I don't know what the series name is called. The first book in the series is Define Rivals, like I mentioned, and Ruthless Vows is the second book. And the reason why I held off reading these two was because I wanted both of these books to be out. I think this is the completed series by Rebecca Ross. A fellow back. There was some controversy once again with this one but I was overseas when they were announcing it and I wasn't really up to date about it but I would just like to say that I am from Australia so the publishers for the Australian edition slash UK is actually Magpie so they're part of the YA division of HarperCollins so not whatever the American peeps are talking about. I don't know if I should be showing this but um, I would like to start and finish this series. I heard really amazing things about it but at the same time I've also heard some pretty negative things about this one. Once again I will like to read it for myself and not be swayed so every single time I see this book being mentioned I just quickly scroll through my TikToks and Instagram because I don't want to be swayed. I want to read it and have my first initial impressions. These books weren't cheap. They're like 30 something bucks a pop at Dimmicks but I managed to grab it at BW for like 18 and I thought it was still pretty expensive but nevertheless I do have this series right here. And the reason why I chose all of these books is because I do have access to the audiobooks so it might become a lot more probable in me getting through them. I would like to read through my physical TBR. That is my goal for this year because I keep buying more. I've slowed down. I didn't buy any books in the month of November and most of December because I was overseas. would like to save some money so I can travel at the end of the year again so I can visit my extended family overseas. That is the goal for this year. The goal is to go through what I already have but I do have a couple of pre-orders coming in so I and I do have a couple of books I like in the month of February but I'm trying my best just to go to my local library because most books that I end up reading I just need to read it once. I need to just buy the ones that I really love. On to the prime reading that I like to read in the month of February. Since I don't have access to Kindle Unlimited hopefully that will help me out to read some physical books but I do have prime reading once again because I am Subscribe to Amazon Prime only for this month. I will be cancelling. I would like to start the Improbable Meet Cute series by Christina Lauren, Abby Jimenez, Sally Floor, and Jasmine Guillory, Ashley Poston, and Saria Wilson. Once again, if I mispronounce anybody's names or authors, uh, titles, whatnot, I am kind of dyslexic, so apologies in advance. But they recently released an Amazon original stories. And I would like to get through them. The novella is, and it should be relatively quick. I did start on The Exception to the Rule by Christina Lauren, which is like the first book of this series. And so far, it's just back and forth emails on Valentine's Day. So, this is, I think, a Valentine's Day universe sentence novella. Interesting for the month of um, February. I think I can get through them. I think it's a goal I can actually accomplish this month. The only book that I'm going to be buying in the month of February, like hopefully, is Bride by Ali Hazelwood. I already pre-ordered the audiobook version of the book. But I will also be grabbing the physical copy from my local bookstore on launch date. So that's the only buy for the month, hopefully. It is a Omegaverse, so paranormal romance by Ali Hazelwood. I've read 
everything by her so far and she's a must buy author for me I know she's not everybody's favorite but she's a comfort author for me so I will be grabbing that and like I said I already have the audiobook pre-ordered so that's another digital slash physical book that I will be reading in the month of February last but not least I do have some library loans here I put it here I don't know if I'll actually go through them but they are something that I like to read my local library has really been on top of things they've stocking like new releases which I'm kind of surprised about and I'm really happy about it so I don't have to go out of my way to buy them because most of these titles aren't available at like bigger department stores which is like cheaper I can't buy every single new releases when it comes to books and video games which is two things I collect and I'm just really thankful that my local library is starting to supply like the more of the popular new releases I'm really happy about it and I'm really grateful that I have access to it these are some of the Nick Galley arcs that I'll like to go through <laughs> because some of them has already been released out for like a couple of months I would like to go through them and actually give a proper review that's about it for the month of February and it is once again a very ambitious month and hopefully I can go through them. What are some of the books that you'll be reading in the month of February? Any upcoming releases that you're very excited about? Please let me know down below. If you have anything you'd like to say to me, leave a comment down below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content from me. Hit the bell for notifications and I'll see you guys in my next video. Here's to hoping I actually edit them. Bye.